Hi, it's Mickey Sunshine Creates, and I'm Mickey. I'm doing a mystery untubing and boxing, kidding up. I'm going to kid up. Um, this is my mystery diary painting from Evermoment, from Rebecca, which we will be starting on Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern. So I hope you are all ready. Um, to begin during my live. Yay! <laughs> anyway, I had my roommate open this up first to make sure that there was no no markings on it. So, I'm going to open it up. There we got a toolkit, which we all know basic toolkits. If I need to go through over it, well... Look at one of the other unboxings. I've got some washi tape. This time it's, ooh, aquamarine green. It's, you know, it's a nice color. This, my camera doesn't show correct color. Not sure why, but it doesn't. We've got some baggies. Everybody loves baggies, but I don't use them. So I tend to, look, to collect them. Here we go. We got the... Uh-oh, there's more. She's got to get me a big one. I got her a 40 by 40. What did she get me? 50 by 70? I don't know. You know, because it doesn't have the thumbnail on it. I don't know if it has the... Anyway. Right, let's see what we got. We've got... A nice blank inventory sheet. I'm going to use this with my 43 colors. <laughs> She's getting me back. <laughs> I gave her 43 colors last time, and I gave her 43 colors this time. Now I've got 43 colors. <laughs> Ooh, that little stinker. <laughs> uh, we've got the every moment, whatever, statement of diamonds and several languages. We don't need that. That can go in the garbage. Come on, more. There we are. We got another, another bag. Look at these. Oh, these are definitely fall colors. These are definitely fall colors, aren't they? Oh, they're so pretty. Look at that. I had to keep it. I've got my window open, you know, the blinds open, so I've got natural light coming in. Oh, aren't they pretty? Ooh. There's a little bit of pink in here. A lot of tan, neutral. And a lot of orange. Ah, I think, but I hope she didn't get me the same one I got her. <laughs> now that would be funny. Ooh, that would be funny. All right, let's get this to lay flat. The easiest way to get a double side. Oh, God, she got me a big one. Yeah, it's 50 by 70. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. I'm not so sure. I'm really not so sure. This is all right, the easiest way to get these to lay flat is to peel back one edge. That's really all you need is to peel back one edge, make sure you don't tear it. Now these are split down the middle. Oh boy, this is a dark one. And look how nice that lays. Now we turn it around. We do the same thing on this side. We peel it back. We don't look, really. I'm not looking. I'm looking at the... See how nice and straight that is now? It's not curly. And then we go to this side, which is a little harder, because this is the side that was curled in first. Oh, God, I don't have enough room on my tape for this. I'm going to have to work on it like this. Ah, okay, come on. Get under there so you can lay flat. Oh, come on. Sheesh. Now, you see the way it's curling up? 
Watch this. It's almost like magic. I learned this from another YouTuber years ago when I couldn't figure out how to uncurl the edges you know, and get it to lay flat. Well, that's all you need. That's all you need. This side is still curled and this side is flat. Let me do the same thing here. Again, be sure not to tear it. And I have no idea what this is. I just know it's a dark one. <sighs> Very full colored. Look at that. 50 by 70, huh, Rebecca? Huh. And it looks like it's a lot of confetti. Ooh. She's mean. No, I'll get over it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start kidding up. First. Oh, look at that on the back. How about the inventory? First, I'm going to make a copy of this. Just in case. So I'll be right back. Give me a second. And I'm back. There's two reasons I did this. One, this is a flimsy paper. And I know me. I rip flimsy papers. The second is because this is a um, a stiffer paper. It's not. It's a thicker, heavier paper. It's going when I ha go to take it off. It's going to come off a lot easier. Now I know I have my scissors somewhere, so this could go off. And of course, I always have this to reference if I need it, though. Because every moment only has the reference on one side. They don't have it on both sides, like a lot of other places do, unfortunately. Um, but I go by symbol. I don't go by number or by DMC. I go by symbol. So I'm going to do this, put it through my Zyron sticker maker. Then I get to ooh, wonderfully cut it up into little tiny. No, not into itsy bitsy pieces, but into small strips. All right, you know what? Garbage. We throw things out. So that'll go in the recycle bin. And one of the reasons I keep the numbers on here is because when I go to sort the symbols, because I, I sort after I put the drills in. Um, after I go to sort the symbols, I keep them in numerical order so it's easier and quicker when I want to put them back and find them again. Because eventually you kind of know, you get to memorize what position they're all in. <sighs> Alright. Get the Zyron sticker maker, which is right in my little case, right here. Yay! Oh, the cute little thing. I love these things. I really do. Now, let's see if I can get it straight. Because I often have a problem with keeping it straight. Pull it slow. Oh, this might be a first. Nope, not working. <laughs> I'm still going sideways off a little bit. And I'm pulling it straight through. I don't get it. Huh? Huh? Uh. You see? I happens to me every time. It's slightly angled, but that's okay. It'll live. There's just a itsy bitsy little bit up here that's not covered with the um, sticky stuff. Is that what it's called? Yeah, sticky stuff. We take that off, which is the protective cover. Put my Zyron stick and make it back where it belongs. <sighs> I'm using Carver Freight, and I will need two of them 
because these are only um, 28 so I'm going to need two and now I'm going to cut these into strips anyway um, Rebecca and I are doing this because it's fun and this is going to be the second mystery DP 2020 in fact if we're going to use any kind of hashtag on Instagram let's make it second 2MD mystery DP 2020 that way we know it's the second one and not the first as opposed to the first and I want to do this at least three times a year I'm thinking or maybe once each quarter it's just it's fun you don't know what you're what you're gonna get I don't like a box of chocolates <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get yeah Forrest Gump go for it um in the meantime I don't know what you do all day but I've been watching YouTube a lot of my favorite channels my favorite people I watch their unboxings and their whipping chats like Rachel Ray and Stitcherisa is now doing the true crime stories which for some reason I, I, I've never been into true crime but I'm finding it fascinating <laughs> maybe it's her reactions to it that are getting to me so if you have a chance go over to Stitcherisa check her out, check her out. <gasps> All right. I know I'm cutting this somewhere I'm not cutting very straight but as long as I don't cut it where I can't see the symbol I'm good what else have I been doing oh I spoke with my cousin she's up in Stormville New York um, she had bought years ago she bought a hunting lodge on the side of a mountain it is so beautiful up there we've had several family reunions uh, in the past up there because it's just it's beautiful and she's got lots of room <laughs> lots of room you know she puts up a tent her house is very tiny it's only a little one bedroom the hunting lodge with a loft which she uses as a studio she's a painter and well she was a painter I don't know if she paints anymore she was an excellent painter went to Pratt in New York which is a very good artist school for artists um, and the grounds are just she's got big open meadow in front of the house and then behind it and to the side it's nothing but forests and deer and uh, it's just beautiful up there it really is and let's see what else did I do oh I spoke to my aunt my yeah she's not feeling well she's got the beginnings of Parkinson's which I just found out which is why she doesn't go out to meet us anymore she doesn't want to the shakes bother her too much I said it well it doesn't bother me I can always go down there and visit her though oops let's flatten that out a little that's where it came oh. Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, the ringing of my messenger. It's ringing off the hook. And I hope you guys are all ready for the DP a thon on Saturday. It starts Saturday morning. Let's see, when does it start? Ah, uh, do 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 start Saturday at 9 a.m. 
with Fee Diamond in the Rough. And then there is a playlist that if you use the playlist, which is located on the Crafty Heifer channel, and she's got the playlist all set up. If you lose, use the bleh, if you use the playlist, you'll go from one to the next to the next automatically. You don't have to search for the links or go to the channels to find the people. You know the live. It'll just skip over, hop over to the next one, which is nice. I like that. Um, I'm at one thirty to 3 p.m. Uh, before me is Nana of Seven Crafts at 12, and after me is the Crafty, craft, the crafty Heifer, Marissa, at 3 p.m. to 4.30. Okay, now <laughs> we get to label this, which is uh, a pita. And I put the label... I don't take these out. I should take them out, but I find it more of a hassle. Let's see what happens. I've never taken them out before to do. I'm going to screw them up. That's why. Because <laughs> I screw up things a lot. It's it's easy for me. What can I say? I'm a klutz. But I might be able to get these on better. Not really. <laughs> Still not really. I think I'm better off leaving them in. Now, these I'm putting in order, in numerical order, because they're also in um, DMC order. And when I go, when I go to unwrap the drills and place the drills in, I just have to look at the number and then find it. You know, and it's, it's a numerical order, so makes life a lot easier. Oops. No, it's not easier. Not easier at all. I'll leave them in. I seem to do them better when they're in here. At least I do them quicker. you can see me right now, I've got my tongue sticking out. Remember when you were a kid <laughs> and you used to concentrate or something? And for some reason, your tongue always stuck, stuck out. Well, at least mine did. Just a little bit, you know, just that really concentrated. your tongue out to get it precise. I think it's important. I really do. I think it's it's part of the process. <laughs> How did my camera get moved? Oh, sorry about that. Alright, let's move this a little closer. I don't know why I'm reaching over. Oh, because I don't think of things. I'm... My memory is, is terrible. And I always think of things after. <laughs> I should have done them. Now, when these, this particular paper that I use to copy, it, because it's heavier, it's going to be easier to remove these. Even though this is, uh, I'm using uh, temporary sticky for the Xyron, not the permanent. I forget what they call it. Um, it's still with the other paper, since it's so, th so thin, when I take it off, it would always rip. Then I have to scrape it off, you know, and you get that glue, and it was a pita. A pain in the ass. See, this is much easier. Whoops, no, that's too far back. I'll never see that one. Oh, boy, they are chatting away in Messenger, and I'm just sitting here. 
talking to you. Killing time. I'm having fun. And I refuse to talk politics. Because we got enough of that crap on TV. We don't need it here. Here it's crafting only. Crafting, crafting. And for me, it's strictly diamond painting. I do crochet. And I crochet very well. Um, I used to teach crochet at Michael's. I taught a beginner and an advanced class. And which it, crocheting is very easy. And then, and I do knit also. I knit, but I I gave up crochet when when my last husband left. In case you guys don't remember, I've been married three times. <laughs> yeah, three third time is not the charm. And when my last husband left, I had been crocheting for years and years and years for some strange reason I can't give you a reason I really can't I quit crocheting when he left and it it took me years before I uh, took up a uh, fiber art again and what I did was I taught myself to knit. I did that in 2012, I believe. And I taught myself to knit by being on Ravelry, uh, talking with people, getting help from them, going on to YouTube so I can actually see how to do things because they would explain a lot of things I could picture in my head when they explained it but some things uh, you just couldn't get and don't ask me why but the second thing I ever made um, of course I only made scarves um, and shawls the the second thing I ever made was an entrelac scarf one of the hardest scarves to make but not for me. I gotta pick something hard to do. Now, I must have followed, I think it was very pink, uh, their pattern. I must have followed that YouTube video a, a half a dozen times or more. I kept slowing it down, pausing it, slowing it down, <laughs> pausing it, reversing. I mean, back and forth and back and forth. Uh, until I got it. It took me a while to get, it's the base that's hard. Once you get the first row, it's a breeze. It really is. And you're only doing you know, eight or nine stitches at a time, or five, depends upon how big you want your entrelac squares to be. But it's such a beautiful color, especially for uh, uneven, colored yarn like Noro. Oh, I love Noro. Noro is a beautiful yarn. But it's wool. And I'm in Florida. I don't wear wool. But I sent them up to, I sent them up to my cousin. My cousins live up in, in the north, so I send them up to them. And they get something nice and warm to wear. But then I found cross stitch again. I used to cross stitch years ago, but I found it again, and I got hooked on cross stitching. I I do this. I get hooked on one thing at a time. <laughs> it seems so. I got hooked on cross stitching, and I was cross stitching, and I was doing this, and I of course I bought the the looms and the and the um, uh, embroidery yarn thread and all this other stuff. Um, one lady sent me a golf bag box, a golf bag box full of DMC and other yarns, threads, whatever you want to call them, and a couple of, were they looms? 
even one stand up loom which is I mean I have no idea how to put it together but she had passed away and her husband went into Ravelry and asked if anyone wanted it and a number of my friends knew I couldn't afford one of those so they say go ahead you know take them take them. uh oh did I screw up here yeah I'm missing a couple of colors get back here you where are the rest of the colors oh never mind Oh, I see what I did. I missed one here. So everyone has to get reset. I shouldn't have known this. 24. No big deal. Okay. Now we're all set with these. And I've got 43 containers. So that's correct. <laughs> now comes the fun time. I just wish they would put all their colors in one bag. Even if it was one of these. Just, you know, you got one, you got one color. Instead of two bags, put them into one. I just, I don't get these small bags. They bother me a lot. Oh, there's not a lot of 310, but there is some. Let's see how these drills are today. Oh, I love every moment. They're really good. I don't see any, uh, I don't see any nibs. Interesting. Okay, let's see. How I do this. Here's 310. See, it's easy. You just find the container. I do these in threes. If I can. <laughs> Sometimes it's not always possible. Nah, it's not going to be possible. So I'll do these one at a time. It'll be quicker. I missed it. Ah, oh, let me tell you, not easy being me. <laughs> I'm not sure who'd want to. I think I'm gonna have too many for the for the container. So I'm gonna have to put in an extra container. Again? Come on. It's sealed up higher than it should be. I think it'll take three of these. Actually, it might take one more, but I'm not going to chance it. So we'll put 310 here. Take one of these blanks. See if these will fit in here. Good enough. And there's 310. I think that's the only one I'm going to have a lot of. Ah, itchy, itchy. Okay, next color 3776. 3776. Well, see how easy it is. You don't have to set these in order or anything. You just find them and do them. There we go. And it's easier to put back because this is 36. You know, the number is on there too. Uh, there's another one. 37, 371. 
371 right here. It's a pretty green. It's like, I don't know, baby beauty green. <laughs> it is. I'm sorry. It's, you know, it's like a light olive green, which I guess is baby duty green. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've changed baby's diaper. And one. I bet I can fit four of it in here. I'm sure I can. If I can't, watch me spill it all over the place. Yay! Anyway, uh, there are so many collabs going on um, this this month and next month that uh, I'm completely floored on them. I'm working on one, well, two things. I'm working on my Rachel Froud because I want to. That's the one that Rebecca bought me as a gift. And I'm working on that one because I want to. It's, it's just so beautiful. The colors are so gorgeous. And this mystery painting. I don't think I'll be joining any other. See? Told you it would fit. Just barely. Just barely, but it fit. <sighs> and I have a little container here where I throw the strays. 3862. So, I, it's, it's hard to talk um, about yourself to yourself. It really is. It's, it's not an easy thing to do. But I figured, what the hey? You get to know, whoops, you get to know a little bit more about me. And I get to, yeah, I'm going to try two at one this time. the most part. It's so easy to pick them up though. Yep, picked up. Done. You do know you have to make sure it closes before you clip it, uh, especially with these Harbor Freights because they will open up. I've had them open up on me <laughs> when I went to pull them out. 3822. And it's not very much fun. Let's go for two again. See how well we do. Oh, better, better. I'm getting the hang of it. I mean, it goes pretty quickly. 422. tan color beige I don't know what you'd call it five fifty my favorite purple look at that isn't that gorgeous oh I love this purple it's so pretty it really is. It is so, so pretty. I wish there were more of it. Now this one I wouldn't mind so much. Having a lot of it because it is such a nice color. Oops! <laughs> Just call me Ms. Klutz. I could use the vacuum, but believe it or not, this is quicker. 
vacuum, you gotta get the vacuum out, vacuum it up, empty it out. A lot of times static makes them clean. I mean, I like the vacuum, don't get the table vacuum, don't get me wrong. I got mine from uh, this um, Baron Painting by Donnie. What's, what's their name again? Oh my. See, told you my memory's bad. I know their name. I just, I can't remember it. I know the Etsy store name. I'm just... Oh, <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I wonder what these mean. The little three and the little two. And the little seven. Little five. Here's another five in a different color. I don't know what this means. Grams? But these aren't weight. These aren't done by weight, are they? Maybe it means five hundred. I don't know. Um, what number was this? Four ninety-eight. That's right here. Yay, they didn't clutch out this time. <laughs> That's a miracle. <laughs> 154, the first color. Easy when they're in twos. It really is. Cut them both at once, empty them out, saves time. So, what else can I talk about? 1900. That's a pretty orange. Where is 1900? Oh, 900. Duh. <laughs> it's 900. I was looking, there's an arrow to show which way it goes, so you don't get 006, which there is none. So why would that confuse you? So it's 900, not 1900. Oh, Mickey. Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. What are we going to do with you? I don't know. Just gotta love me. So I will be on Friday night, my usual time, 8 p.m., where we will start our, our mystery diamond paintings. And I still have to, uh, what number is this? I still have to um, put some duct tape on top of this so I don't see it when I'm diamond painting when I'm actually painting okay that didn't work uh, okay that's one and this one didn't cut open at all You know, that's the. There is an issue with doing two at once, but I'm impatient. Could be why I dive and paint so fast too, and why I do it all day long. <laughs> I get impatient. I wanna, I wanna see the results as quickly as I can. That was one sixty-six. Uh, this is 161. There's going to be leftovers. One sixty-one. 
it's a kind of like a Payne's gray, a blue gray, you might say. I don't know if you can. Uh, it's close to the color, a little, a little darker than it should be. I gotta get better lighting. I really do. I have got to get better lighting. It's as simple as that. Oh, I guess that'll be the next thing I buy if I buy anything. And anyway, like I said, I'll be on Friday night and then I will be on Saturday at 1.30. Now the DP-a-thon goes all the way through till the last one at 9 p.m., which is Lizzie's World of Craft, of Gems. Um, and we've got, there's quite a lineup here. I mean, there is. We've got Mindy's Diamond Moment, Mystery of Diamonds, The Uncrafty Crafter, Rivka's Craft Corner, DP Addiction Adventures, Crashly, everybody knows Crashly. You know, uh, it's just a few of the people that are going to be uh, doing lives this weekend. And it's kind of like a marathon. That was dumb. 161. I'm going to put this, these in here. As leftovers. Down. Hey, whatever works. Whatever works. I just don't like leaving them out because every time I leave them out, I forget about them. And then I complain that I don't have enough drills. I'm, I swear, I'm, I'm an airhead. And sometimes it just goes right through. But I'm also, um, I think I'm a nice person. I try to be. I try to be the diplomat, the arbitrator, the person with the reasonable common sense that just, you know, you feel the way you feel. And nobody makes you feel a certain way. You let them. You allow them to bring out certain feelings. But you don't have to feel those. You don't have to feel annoyed or mad or sad or put upon or uh, loved or, you know, be kind. Uh, you don't have to. Nobody says you have to. Uh... You control your own feelings. So, and I control my feelings. Uh, it's not that I don't feel them. It's not that, I'm, that I don't get sad or get ridiculously happy, which I do from time to time. It's that I don't let other people push any buttons. I try not to have any buttons. I try not to have any buttons, and that way, nobody can push them. I just, you know, just let it slide off your back. Thirty-three, forty-six here. Another green. This is like a glass green, tree green. I don't know. I think I'm gonna save one and do three. But I'll do them one at a time in here. Don't ask me why. I just I feel like it. So I try to be the arbitrator, and I don't. I, I don't. I try. I don't pick sides unless you have done something to really, really, really un 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 unfixable hurt someone. As long as you don't hurt someone, anyone, do what you want. Be what you want. You know, love who you want, hate who you want. 
ignore who you want. You know, most of the time I ignore people that bother me. I, um, I just, if you bother me and I don't want to talk to you, I won't talk to you. Whoops, four. To the top. To the brim. <laughs> I think when I do that, that's fun. Eight fourteen. Eight nineteen. We've got no. Yeah, no. Should I try three? I don't think it's gonna work. But let's try three. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, I did it. I did it. Yay. I got three. All right. I spilled a little. But I did three once. Yay. I'm so cool. <laughs> this is fun. At least it's fun for me. I don't know if it's this fun for you. This could be boring for you. And you might have turned me off already, which is fine. God bless anybody who has stayed this long. Because <laughs> unlike the unboxing of and, and kidding up of the Rachel Froud that I did, I'm not fast forwarding this. What you see is what you get. Though I may clip out the next bit. Because it is taking a long time. So I'm going to clip out the next bit. And I'll be back. Oop, let me adjust the camera again. God, I am terrible. Sorry to make you dizzy, guys. Stay. Stay. Okay. I taped this as well as... The, the rest of the uh, drills. Um, I'm not very good <laughs> at taping mystery paintings. Um, I I have no patience. I, I do. I have no patience. So I just do it higgly piggly. It's enough that I, I won't be able to see what's underneath. Um, I'm going to be cutting squares anyway or rectangles <laughs> as the case may be. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. <laughs> but it'll work. I guess anything will work. I could have put on more tape. Put it, make them smaller. Closer together, I guess. I don't know. Ah, it's good enough. <laughs> anyway, this is my kit up and chat. <laughs> Instead of a whip and chat, it's a kit up and chat. Um... I thank you for staking around this long, really. I mean, anybody who's stuck around this long is a die-hard dragon painter who likes me. I hope it's the latter. Anyway, if you are new and you enjoy this crazy, 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 crazy video, please subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload another video or go live, which is I go live often, but I upload randomly. Um, if you're already a subscriber, thank you <laughs> for being here uh, and believing in me. In the meantime, until the next time I see you, please wear your mask, wash your hands, stay away from people, be nice. And that's all I can say. Is there even a cheat?